Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these twirly elegant seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. By the way, I have separate tutorials with designs only with the middle part or the twirl as I call it. And you could see them at the eye icon and down there in description if you're curious. Uh, you could skip this intro definitely, but I have just a few words to say. I want to say to subscribe, obviously, because in this way you will be inspired often, usually twice a week, and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. So subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for my new content. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations and share them on my community tab on YouTube and you help me so much by liking, sharing and commenting so if you do this support is priceless to me. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips and now guys I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 o seed beads. Here I also use earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or so 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle. You could use pliers to go through the difficult beads but it's not obligatory. And now I'm going to take an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and I'm going to pick up 12 beads six black and six silver and I will alternate them. Now I have my six black and six silver beads, 12 in total, and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I have and I pull and then I'm going to make one more knot. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. Okay, now I have this and I will go guys in this direction and I want to exit out of a black bead. You see this beautiful circle that I have here? I'm exiting out of a black bead. And now what I want to take are two black beads, then one silver, and I will go through, skip this silver here and go through the next black. Okay, now I have this. Then I'm going to repeat this, two blacks, one silver, skip the following silver and go through the black after that. Now I have this. And again, two blacks, one silver, skip the silver and go through the black. Okay, now what I want to do is repeat these steps three more times. Okay, and pay attention here at the last step. I'm going here through this black bead. Don't make the mistake to go through this one here. When I was a beginner, I was doing this mistake and I was wondering why it doesn't work. Okay, now I will go through these black beads in this direction. And I wanna exit through this silver here. Okay. 
Then what I want to take guys are two silver beads and I'm going through this black. Okay. Then what I want to do is go through the following silver. Take two silver beads again. Go through the black. Okay. Then go through the silver. Okay. Then I'm going to take two silvers and go through the black. Then don't forget to go through the silver as well after that. And I will continue this until the end. Okay guys, now I'm here and I have this beautiful twist forming. And now as I'm exiting through this black bead, it comes the next row and each next row consists of one bead more. So the previous one was with two beads, two silver beads, and this one will be with three black beads. Okay, three black beads and I'm going through this silver and also through the following black. You could do it in one movement if you want. Then again, three black beads. I'm alternating the colors in the different rows. Okay, through the silver and through the black. This time you could do it in one movement. I'll show you one more time. And then I'll show you faster. Okay, and do this three more times. Okay, and here go through the last silver. Now, you could expand this work as much as you like. And I already shown this sweet twirl element in different designs. But now I want to continue this in a bigger earring as I told you in the beginning. Okay, so what comes next are four silver because each next row is with one bead more. So now it comes four beads and is with the color that is coming up next, okay? And now you go through the black and through the silver. Because when you add your color, you want to be exiting out of the same color. So I'm adding silver and I want to be adding uh, exiting out of a silver. Okay, four. And like this. Okay. And I'll show you faster until the end. Okay, and pay attention when you where you go here. Okay, and with this I will stop the twirling and we'll start the next stage of my work. Okay, I want to be exiting here of the bit that is sticking out the most. Okay, this one. And what I want to do now, guys, is take nine of these beautiful black beads. Okay, I have here nine black beads and as I'm exiting from this bead that's sticking out the most I'm going through the following. Now I pick up nine again. Here I go through this one that's sticking out the most as well. Okay, nine again. And as I'm exiting here, I'm going through this one that's sticking out the most. OK, 
okay I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end okay guys continue this and meet me here okay and here I am at my last step where I need to add my last nine beads from this row I'm adding them here going again through the first silver bead that I started this row from and now what I want to do is go here through the following black bead and I want to take three silvers okay then as I'm exiting here one bead away I'm exiting out of this bead one bead away from the edge or and from the silver I'm going back in circle like this through the black before the silver through the silver and again in this direction and in this direction I want to go through five beads one two three four five why through five because in this way I'm exiting out of the middle of my nine beads that I added okay here is where I'm exiting out of the fifth bead and now I'm going to take two silver beads like this and I'm going back in circle through this top bead back in circle it means I make a loop here and when I pull I have this then I go through <coughs> these four beads and through the silver like this okay now I have this and then I go through the following black and then I'm going to take three and go back like this through the black and through the silver again and pull gently then I'm going through five black beads in this direction and when I go through five one two three four five I'm exiting again out of the middle bead and then I take two and I go back like this And then I go here through the four blacks and through the silver and exit here then again I will do the same thing go through this black in this direction take three go back like this in circle and then go through the following five and I will show you this step and let you continue this until the end I showed you three steps you have three more steps to go if you forgot how I'm doing it and you need help just rewind the video and repeat these three steps but from here on okay see you in a while okay guys and here I am at my last step where I add my two last beads and if you forgot how I'm doing it just uh, rewind and remember the steps okay uh, now I'm here exiting out of this silver bead that I just added and I'm going to pick up five beads I have here my five and I'm gonna be adding five all the time now I'm going through this bead that's sticking out the most okay five then again I'm taking five beads and I want to go here from the outside to the center through this silver bead okay now I want to uh, go through the neighbor silver but from the center 
going outside. Okay. Then again, I'm taking five. And I go here through this one. Okay, don't worry that now it looks like this. We'll fix it in the next step. Making a new thread pad. Okay, five again. Go through one of the silvers. Exit through the other. And I will continue adding five all the time and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and now I have my last five beads here. And what I do next is that I go in this direction. And I want to reach this angle here. But first, I'm going through these two silver beads in this direction. I'm going through two, you see. I'm exiting here. I skip the next one and exit out of the angle. And when I skip these guys here and I pull it, I'm forming an angle. Okay, here I have an angle. And I'm exiting out of this silver bead. One bead after the angle bead. Okay, I'm exiting out of this one here. And I'm going to take three black beads, three of them. And I'm going back through those three silvers. First, I'm exiting out of this. Then I'm going through this one before the angle, through the angle. And then I will go in this direction through the following as well. This is the same thing that I showed you here with the silver beads. Okay, now I go here through two beads, two silver beads, skip this one that's on my way and go through the next two. And I will pull this one a little bit and form an angle here. And now I need to take one black and as I'm exiting here, through this silver, okay, you see my thread, I'm going here in this direction and through these two silvers. Okay, then I'm skipping the next one that's on my way and I'm exiting out of the angle bead. Pull this one like this and I'm forming an angle. Then I will repeat what I showed you before, exit out of this silver, okay. Then I'm going to take three black beads, okay. And as I'm exiting through this silver here, one bead away from the angle, I'm going in the same place one bead before the angle. And like this in circle, making a loop between my beads and then through two silvers in this direction. Okay, now I skip the angle bead here and go through the following two. Here is my thread exiting after these two. And I need to add one black bead. And then I'm going through the following two. Okay, I think you got the idea. You alternate three beads with one bead here at the angles. Now it comes three, make an angle, one. Make an angle, three, make an angle, one. Okay, if you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind from here and repeat and repeat. Okay, see you when I'm done. Okay, guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last bead from this row. 
my last black bead and I have just one more row to go and in this row what I want to do is reach these three black beads exit out of the first one of them and then take three skip the one that's in the middle here this one and go through the other one through the third one go through first skip the second and go through third one okay now i want to reach this part where is one bead one black bead again what i want to take are three silver beads and then i will go back through this black one like this okay i'll show you these two steps one more time and i'm absolutely sure you're gonna be able to do them until the end go through the first of the three black beads take three skip the one that's in the center go in the following beads reach this black bead which is one and add three and repeat guys these two steps until the end and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you how to finish your work okay guys and here i am at my last step where i add my last three beads from this row and what i want to do next is attach my earring finding by the way if you are not satisfied and your work bends a little bit it's a good idea to put cotton cloth on it and iron it and after that when it cools off you could also put some some high quality transparent or clear nail polish over your work okay just a few ideas if you want to try them okay so now this is the earring finding now i'm going to take one bead i'm exiting here from this top bead i go through the earring finding slide it down then i take one more bead i also slide it down this is what i have now one bead earring finding and one bead and i'm going back in circle like this making a loop and now i'm going to reinforce okay and now what i want to do is to make here one more knot i'm making it by making a loop and i'm going once then i'm going second time through this loop i've made i make sure i'm between those two bits where i started my knot and i pull and by the way you could repeat this knot several times when you're ready go through the following one or two seed beads and then cut your thread never cut exactly next to a knot okay now my earring is ready okay guys and now my twirly elegant seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button if you still haven't and in this way you will know when i make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be inspired often down there in description you will find the full list of materials linked to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and links to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on my facebook and instagram pages i will be so happy to see your creations you could also check my second channel with the fast clips thank you so much for watching bye bye from me